Yes! Hey guys, we are here with Shay Emery. He is a former professional football player, um, a Wellman advocate, as well as the founder of Axwood Mobile Throwing Company. So we're here today at Red Truck. We've just done a little bit of axe throwing. I wasn't very good, but I'm actually waiting until the end of the interview. I'm going to get some tips on how to actually throw this by the master For me, himself. Yeah. Yes. Know yeah, apparently that. his score is 52, and that's the uh, that's high high score. That's the high score. So if you Perfect. Think you Perfection. Can, if you think you can beat it, <laughs> you know? come on down to Red Truck. Yeah, they're here Friday and Saturday. So tell me, um, Axwood. Yeah, so I started Axwood about three summers ago, and we were based at the top of the Cedar Sky Gondola in Squamish. Really, where it came down to why I started axe throwing in general is because uh, I started a men's adventure club called Wellman, and uh, solely to get guys outside of the comfort zone so they can feel comfortable being themselves. So give them an axe, make them feel like a man, you know, stereotypical type of masculine experience, and uh, trick them into having a conversation about what's going on in their life. People want to do more of it, so it's this mobile axe throwing. Our, our whole model is based around going to around to all the festivals and events around town. So we'll be at the uh, Catalano Festival oh. and uh, Ship Waterfront Festival in North Vancouver and a variety of other festivals, Squamish Beer Festival, and I can keep going. But uh, essentially, we want to go to where the party's at, and, uh, and that's what it's all about, is just trying, really trying to provide a, an activation for people to step outside their comfort zone. It doesn't, it's zero fun, so don't come visit us on Friday and Saturday here at Richmond. Well, actually, um, I just overheard a guy as you were talking come up and he goes, how could I not throw it out? And it's definitely something different. I mean, we're in the middle of Vancouver right now and there's not a lot of places that can really throw an app. Is this just for men or like? It's the exact opposite. It's the exact it's, opposite. It, it actually levels the playing field. The funny thing, I had my mom and my dad here. They're 68 years old. My mom came down and beat my dad. He's 6'3", my mom's 4'11". And uh, I promote it's like you could be a 12 year old, you could be a 65 year old lumberjack, and there's really no difference as long as you can get the axe to the target. It's about precision, it's about really just trying to get you to the point where you can throw consistently on the target, and it really doesn't make a difference what you look like, who, who you are. And so it's really cool to be able to you know, provide an experience where male, female, old, young. You know. Yeah, it's very cool. I mean, this is the first opportunity that I've ever had to throw an axe. I've been around axes before, but I, I haven't. You know, brave enough to have the opportunity to really throw one. So. Yeah, everyone always says, like, axe throwing and beer. I'm like, well, you can either go do this in the woods on a long weekend where you can't see straight without any professional coaching and a campsite behind you, or you can do it here in safety with professional coaches who are trained. Yeah, and your staff is great. They all, you know, they help you out. They sort of give you some tips. They really want you to get that full time, so it, it makes it fun. And then, you know, it's a little bit of help. Always. Um, I'm looking forward to you giving me some tips because I only it. score one. Um, so I would like to maybe. One is better than none. One is better than none, but I'm competitive, so I'd like to get a little bit higher. My husband got 28, so that's the score to me. It's about halfway to my high score, Marty. First time. <laughs> First time. Awesome. Let's do it. Okay. Because okay. you understand the safety calls. Yeah. And then it's pretty simple. You're going to get 10 throws because you've already had your practice throws. We're going to get right into it. So 10 throws, one through nine, bullseyes worth five. And the last throw, bullseyes worth seven. Or if you're losing, we'll make it worth 50 points so you can come, you know, clutch bullseye. Like, oh, right now. So <laughs> okay. That's what it's all about. Simple, 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 simple. It's kind of like throwing darts, beer pong, or fly fishing. You're not coming across body or doing anything crazy. Literally, you have a sturdy wrist. Yeah, you want to be looking through the view of your hand right underneath the bullseye. So watch my release. Underneath? Watch my release. I'm not, my hand's not going to be lower than this. You're going straight back. Yeah. And you're throwing it right towards the bullseye and letting go. That's it. Okay. Go for it. Clear. 